Hello everybody. Isaac and I are out and about today. We're gonna hit a few trails. This is my son. Say hi. He was born with few challenges, but as long as we keep some internet connection, he loves being out on the trails. So we're just out riding around. My wife is off to a ladies retreat. And, you know, just wanted to kind of talk a little bit today about where that scripture talks about us preferring one another. And Sometimes it's important that we, you know, make sure that others get the opportunity to get a break and to uh, get away. And so many times, unfortunately, uh, people look at dads and if the dad is with the kids, dad's babysitting and that's not the way it's supposed to be. We're both parents, and the idea is that we, you know, give each other time to have a break, to enjoy some time. So, we'll hope you enjoy the ride today. Looking forward to some fun out here. It's going to be a little slippery, I'm sure, with the rain, but... Looking forward to driving through the, some of the colors that are out here as well. It's just gorgeous. Oh, I love fall colors. So what does it mean to prefer one another? Let's look at Romans chapter 12. We're going to start in verse 9. This is from the NLT. It says, don't just pretend to love others. Really love them. Hate what is wrong. Hold tight to what is good. Love each other with genuine affection and take delight in honoring each other. And so, you know, the King James says preferring one another. So what we have to realize is that the goal is to really be able to put some somebody else's needs, somebody else's desire, sometimes before our own. You know, it's quite easy for it to get to a point where we're like, well, I missed out on all the stuff I want to do. But we have to realize is, for me to do the things I want to do, my wife has to miss out on things. So there has to be that balance. So I think what we really need to look at and what we really need to do is how do we put somebody else first? How do we make sure that we're paying attention to their needs, their desires? Sometimes it's going to be having that conversation. Sometimes it's going to be deferring. You know what? What is it you want to do today? I know there are things I'd like to do, but you know what? Let's make sure we do something that you want to do today. 
When we put ourselves first in everything, we cease to give the proper example of Jesus Christ. Jesus, he came and served. And so what we have to realize is sometimes to serve, I have to put somebody else first. And I think that's the goal. What can we do to put that example into our life? Make somebody else just as important as ourselves. And truly show the love of Jesus Christ in serving one another. You know, if we can do that, things change. Sometimes no matter what you do, you know, there's always going to be somebody who uh, it's never enough. They'll take, 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 take. You know what? At that point, you know, sometimes you just need to step away from that. But in there's in a true relationship, there's give and there's take. There's serve and be served. And that's the whole thing. We need to make sure that there is that balance. Will the balance be perfect all the time? Probably not. There could be quite a few weeks in a row where you're give, 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 give because there are things and opportunities for somebody else. But that pendulum will swing back. And there'll be times where you're going to be receiving and going and doing and somebody else has to put you first. Like I mentioned earlier, you know, if you have kids, it's you're a parent. It doesn't matter whether you're the dad or the mom. The time that dad needs a break, remember, so does mom. They, we're, we're all geared differently, but we also all have only so much we can give. And sometimes we need to go and get refreshed. We need some time. We need some some space to do something we love, we enjoy. Even when it comes to the things of God, sometimes just having a break where someone is taking care of everything so the other can go and pray. But in all these things, let's remember, let's prefer one another. Let's sometimes remember, I need to put others first before me. Because if everything revolves around me, your life is not revolving around Jesus Christ. Because He is truly Lord over my life. So therefore, if I want to live a life pleasing to Him, I have to live a life similar to Him. So I encourage you today, I hope you can get out there, enjoy the things you love to do. I hope you're enjoying these beautiful fall colors. I know I did. It was so refreshing and beautiful out there. But also, you know, sometimes you have to not do the thing that you want to do for the sake of somebody else and letting them know, you know what? You're important in my life too. You're important to the Lord. And I am going to defer. I am going to put you first in this thing. Thank you again for joining us on Off Road Gospel. We hope you're enjoying the content we're putting out there. And if you haven't already, we appreciate if you would subscribe, that you would like these videos. Uh, you would share them on Facebook, uh, maybe a follow on Facebook as well. We're just hoping that we can encourage and strengthen some folks. And please, we would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section. You know, this is what it's all about. It is all of us working together to strengthen each other. And these comments and these things that help you to do that are the thing that might help somebody else. So that's why we encourage the comments. And so we appreciate you spending the time and we look forward to seeing you again real soon out on the trails.
God bless.